Hi there, this video is intended for adults who like to craft. Hi guys, Linda here. Alright, so today I'm making um, chapstick holder thingies. This is another my favorite things die. So the one for the nuggets comes with these three, no actually four dies. You know, one for the back to get the nuggets out, the wrapper, a frame, and then the hole um, for it. The one for the chapstick just comes with the cut in the front and then a frame to go around here. But it doesn't have a cut in the back, so I just use the die from the nuggets one. I, I can see why you probably, you really probably don't want to cover up the chapstick, but I do. <laughs> you can still read what it is here. This is um, Mary Berry and it's, uh, let's see, what is it? It is Carmex. So, and then this one's Vanilla Ice. I had bought these for my grandkids. You know, I came in a set of four maybe or six or something, I don't know. So see, that'll go in there like that. Anyway, well, I gotta cut the top of this. So I put these two together like this. Do I want that on the back? I think so. And then I'm gonna put this die up here. I'm gonna use some repositionable tape to make sure it all stays together in the right place. Okay, just a little bit. All right, cut that out. I wish the... Um, Sizzik machines had a counter on it on how many times you um, cut so I would know how many I'm getting out of these plates because I feel like I'm just going through plates like crazy and I really like to die cut <laughs> so I don't know it just seems and I have a um, let's see what is it a Sizzix fold away and a Sizzix plus or something like that it's really big and those plates are expensive and they go really fast I I did see you know uh, I've been looking up every video I can and it said <clears throat> not to turn one and only turn it when it starts curving this way put that down but that's the way the one I have is doing it, but it keeps it staying that way. I don't know if anybody has tips on how to make those plates last longer. I would appreciate it. I should check out some Jennifer McGuire. I know she does her favorite thing, you know, tools and stuff. I really like to die cut stuff. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Okay, now where's my tape? Here it is. So then I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on the back here before I put the container in. See now, <clears throat> this is what I need help with. I have more chapstick coming from Young Living, but see, it rolls in there and I wanted to use the piece that I cut out you know like this will be this would be the piece that came out of here you know so that it would kind of fit with the thing but fit with the die but it's really hard to get it to stay on here <laughs> uh, I don't know I, so it's either leave this like this. Here, I'll show you. And I know if I was buying chapstick, I would want to see what kind it is. So that's why I thought even using the little piece was a good idea. Oh, I've got some static electricity there. I feel a lot of that glue. Um, 
and I mean I could wrap it with something all the way around it and that would work but I really think putting this back in there is such a good idea maybe I need to glue it in I, I know I have to trim it down so because that's a little smaller so and that that fits in there real nice, so I don't know. So I trimmed it down. Maybe I just need to... Well, and that's what I did on that one. Even though I put the two-sided tape on it, it I know what I'll do, I think. <laughs> put this on here. And I want to make it so that, you know, you could... You could see from the side what it is. It's not even on there straight. Let's see if it fits. I might need to trim it down some more. <laughs> see what I mean? Round things are tricky. Okay. This is not on here real good. Maybe if I play with it a bunch, it'll work better, huh? Straight. And then maybe if I put a little tape on the back, like across here, but then when the person goes to take it out, <laughs> it's gonna impede with that. And she looks really pregnant, but that's okay. That little piece is not supposed to be there. Hmm. So that's the way it's gonna be, but then you see how it rolls around? So, I was thinking of putting tape right here. I gotta put a lot of tape on here. Oh, but see, that'll be part of the door. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I gotta get this really close to the edges. I hope I'm in frame. Really close to the edges and the opening with the lip, you know, the, oh, there's a little thing here that opens. Nice and close to that. And then I still have to figure out how to keep it from rolling around. Okay. I'm not all the way to the edge. <laughs> it's got a lot of tape on it. Okay, all right, now I want to put a little glue at the top. Oops, my, oh, it's laying down. That's not good if it's laying down. All right, but now I still need to figure out how to keep this from rolling around. See, it's very hard. All right, I think what I'll do is just take a little tape. <laughs> And just put a little little tape right here. Maybe that'll hold it. Because all this tape is around the edges, not on the door. If I put it on the door, then when they open the door, it would pop out. That might be a good idea. I'll put one piece on the door. <laughs> all right. It's not moving now, so that's good. All right, now the lining up part. Okay, so technically, if I get the bottom lined up, it should line right up, shouldn't it? Almost. <laughs> it's off just a smidgen right there, but that's oh no, just a little. All right, so we got tape all around here. So now I just need to decorate them. Okay. Now to decorate. So I decorated one just so, you know, <laughs> I had to practice a little bit. All right, so what I did is I took this bigger heart, because I have littler ones, took the bigger heart, and then I took this kiss, lip kiss thing. <laughs> it's from an old Raisin Boat stamp set, a fun one. Let's see, there's two really fun ones. 
Oh, well, I shouldn't show them to you, should I? Because they aren't available, I don't think, anymore. So it's this one that has the kiss, and it has those kisses, which is cute. And I ordered kisses, so I might have to make something with that. And then this one has hugs and kisses and sweet. So I want to put sweet kisses on it. So anyway, first I'm going to put some kisses on here. And I just want them to be, you know, in the background. That one, then I should do second generation ones. Just fill up the whole thing. I think I'll do the other side too. Just be a little bit more careful doing the second generation ones. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> All right, and then on this side, I'm putting uh, to and from with pickled picked raspberries. My desk is a mess again. It was clean when I started. I kind of have to go off to the side like that for that. And then check the phone, make sure it's recording. Okay, and then on the front of this, I'm putting sweet kisses. <laughs> you know, you get sweet kisses when you have chapstick, right? All right, so then I want to put a little hole in here. And I'm going to pin this on. See, I pinned it on, but I used one of these little Tim Holtz hearts. Let's see. Um, uh, dream. Oh, here's one that says love you. And I'm hoping I've had these forever. I'm ho just hoping that they hold. And then they, they came with the little heart to go on the, on the top instead of using, um, yeah, maybe crystal accents or whatever it is. Crystal effects. Yeah, that's pretty sticky. And then this part I want in the front of the card and get a pin here. These are those, um, oh, what are they called? Um, alteration pins, I think is what they're called. And I'm gonna put it through the thing. So when it's all done, you have this little pin that you can put on yourself if you want. Then Sweet Kisses goes to the outside. And then I want to put a little, I will put a ribbon on there, but then I want to put a little trim down here. Um, the other one I put this glitter tape that I had because it was just enough, but I'm thinking these little pearls would be so pretty down here. If I can get them to glue on there. I might have to use my glue gun for that, but I will do that. I did put it away though, so I gotta dig that out. I'll probably do that. You know, I wonder. I think that just goes with this. Graphic 45 paper so good. So then I'll have to go on there with glue, um, heat glue. So I'll have to do that at the end. All right, so then to make this stay like a tag, I'm going to take some ribbon. such a mess. Huh, look at that. I got a pin stuck to my... 
somehow something got magnetic there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. I must have had my pin, my... Oh, I, I know I have been cutting magnets <clears throat> with my scissors, so I don't know if that's it or not. So I'm going to pull that up like that. But then I'm going to take some of this pink yarn that I have. <laughs> it's like all sticking to it. It's like my watch does that too. I have a, oh, I don't have it on my magnetic watch band. And I'll go like this and silverware will be attached to my arm. Okay, so I'll put this up here. All right. Double this up. Go around here. Maybe if I go up further. And then I can slide it down. There we go. Alright, so I can get through. Because it's thin. <laughs> These are not magnetic scissors, so. All right, so there are my tags. I want to put this down here, but I have to get the heat gun. And I will take a picture when that is on there. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Should I put the piece of paper in there, or should I leave it out?